<laughs> Folks, we're back live on GameSpot stage here at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm your host, Chris Waters, joined by two gentlemen that, if you've been keeping up on GameSpot's coverage, you know very well. It's Rich and Rob. You guys have been taking on Comic-Con, and uh, you still seem to be intact, generally speaking. Yeah, well, yeah. I, they, they phrased our coverage as Rich and Rob versus Comic-Con, and i got to be honest, we're, we're still standing. Yeah, we're still standing. You know, and I think that's the best you guys could hope for in a situation like this. Comic Con is incredibly formidable. My, my, yeah. my money, my money was on Comic Con. <laughs> yeah, frankly, yeah, yeah. I mean, wheeled out in a chair, but we, we, we survived. I, I'd say it's a draw. It was a draw. All right, that's fine. Fine, Comic Con next year. Next year, Comic Con. <laughs> so what? It, what has Comic Con thrown at you? I, you know, it's been. Here's here's what I've noticed. Okay. Now, I know that you said Anna on, and she is cosplay queen. Yeah. But I feel like there've been fewer costumes. Really? Yeah but more like TV show representation. I'm basing this on my limited two year That thing. being said, the costumes that we did see- Unreal. Unreal. Really? Yeah. There was so, some, yeah. Raising the bar. Real makeup artists. Lowering the numbers. Uh-huh. Doing a lot of TV. Quality over quantity. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. That's just what we saw. We've done two days of coverage. That's where I sort of noticed on yeah. the floor. Neat. But yeah. one of the highlights for us was uh, when we went behind and we saw the, uh, the guys doing the, the reenactments. Oh man. The fighting. What is that? It's SCR. Society for Creative Reenactments. Yeah, SCR. Yeah, yeah we had a segment on them. It's before, not LARPing but and don't even, don't even, don't even. Those guys have swords I would never. It's not LARPing. Ever. No. SCR. But so they're, they're, they're armored they're, up to, and It's they, not your father's LARPing. No. They, they, they take real cuts at each other. Yeah, right? they it's really do. awesome. And, yeah. they, and they beat the crap out of each yeah. other. It's quite frankly refreshing. But what I love is that, so when they go down on one knee, that's when they're dead. Uh huh. But it was, but they do it on the on the sort of a sub, honor system. Uh, right? Honor system. Yeah. The bro agreement. I was gonna say, but but <laughs> there's like ah, ah, ah. okay, you got me. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> it's like yeah, I probably would bleed out by okay. now. Here we go. Yeah, good job. Good Did they let you guys take any swings? You know what? Here's the thing. They they generously offered, and we wisely declined. <laughs> yeah. Um, we then we saw some great makeup work going on. Oh, like man. I love those guys who do like the the alien Hollywood. Makeup. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were sitting there doing it live on the Comic Con floor. That okay. stuff takes hours and hours no, sometimes, I mean, yeah. right? And the great thing is, you're you're talking to the mo the model. I mean, you're watching the artist do the work. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's a person <laughs> sitting like that. And do you're not like, move your muscles. And there's Carl. And Carl's like, Rrr. but Carl's <laughs> like that for six hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that Carl can walk uh, around and scare people. Have you guys ever gotten the monster treatment? I have. Yeah. I did, yeah. The, I did the monster thing one time. And the alien I played had no nose, uh -oh. so it was, the, it was the sheer face, and the rest, you know, the eyes and the mouth. And I had a cold, and you can't sniff when you don't have a nose because there's no air intake. But did they plug it up at least? My point is, I drained for 12 hours into the inside of this right here. Wow. So when the person was taking it off with the spear gum remover, you know, I yeah. said, I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I don't know what's under here. I, I, I know exactly what's under here, and it's awful. This is going to be scarier than some of your creations. Yeah, I just want be. you to know. I was on uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and was a vampire, and that well, was... Let me get a broom for the name drop. I'm sorry, I thought we were doing monster stories. <laughs> Come really? on. You're really doing that now? I can't. I thought uh, it was a thing, man. No, but I was a vampire, and that was on that show. Like that's what you yeah, want to be. Yeah, you get the whole brow thing. The brow thing, thing and you the, know, a vampire yeah. in that? Yeah, that's what I was just saying when you're making fun of me. That's uh. what the. Uh, yeah, I was. I was a, a vampire in that, and and then you have the contacts and the teeth, and it's it was awesome. And you're in the chair for like four hours, getting mm -hmm. made up, you know. Um, but yeah, that was pretty great. The tough thing is talking with the teeth on. That's the. The real challenge. Keep, how do they keep the teeth in? Is it like dentures? They're fit to your, you go to a dentist too that fits you for these this thing. And really? Yeah, and the contacts are fit for your eyes. And do you still have your teeth then? Like no, I wish. on the mantelpiece I at wish. home. I have a where Polaroid were they? picture. Huh? Oh, do they stay on set? Did yeah, you yeah, update? they kept them. They kept everything. But yeah, the, the the hard. Joss Whedon was on the set when I was shooting my first scene and. He came up to me, he's like, great, I love what you're doing. Um, no one can understand you. Because my teeth were starting to <laughs> 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 yeah. It's kind of hard to be menacing. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're eating a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that Josh said, I love what you're doing. He had no idea what you were doing. He couldn't understand a word you were right, saying. Right, right, right. I think he was all right. He's talking about the body language. Yeah. yeah. The vampire menacing. Nobody points like the mommy. <laughs> So, Rich and Rob versus Comic Con. We've got that on the sh on the on the site. You folks can watch it here on Gamespot. Can uh, you guys are you, are you are you have you settled the things with Comic Con? What's what what remains in store for you here at the show? Well, I got to say, we raised our game this year because last year we just did simple coverage. Mm -hmm. We walked in, we covered it, which is sure. tough, but we did it. Yeah. This year, Rob had a film that was here, oh. so we we were involved with a film called The Sidekick. So we had on Thursday. 
we had press, we had a panel, and 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 GameSpot followed us for a lot of this stuff, so uh -huh. they got some behind the scenes stuff, which means to me, next year we're gonna up our game even further. I don't know I don't what know where we, we go do. over the booth. Yeah. I mean, like I don't know. Drive a boat up. I don't know how we do it because we went from covering it <laughs> nah, to being got a part a of it. Pirate ship already got the pirate here. Ship. You guys gotta gonna, do, maybe fly in like fly helicopter in. kind of thing. There's a helicopter on the TV guide. But we need a hovercraft or something. Parachute. Yeah. Parachute. parachute. Now you're talking. Because we're going to have to do something that's bigger and more involved. Yeah. Because once you put us on a panel, we yeah. a panel for Cranor. Yeah, this is pretty great. We got the we had the panel on Thursday, did some behind the scenes stuff with GameSpot, and then yesterday we kicked you off. Had, the and, and he had, you know, he had Jordan Peele, he had Lizzie Kaplan, he had the whole cast there, and it was, yeah. just, it was phenomenal. So it was, yeah. it was cool to like be able to take GameSpot behind the scenes yeah, yeah, and show a little bit of that world. Excellent. But I'd say what's left for us is at this point, I kind of want to take a couple things home. So yeah. I might go back on the floor and buy a couple like figurines and stuff. Well, I'm, I'm definitely doing some shopping. What, yeah. Do you have anything in mind? Yep. Are you just gonna? Whoa, let's let's hear it. Well, I'm going I'm going in for a Hulk. Okay. And I'm going in for a Tony Stark. We both have children, so mm -hmm. uh, you got to bring something home. For oh the kids. yeah, Absolutely. and I got to get stuff for the kids. And so I'll do something for the kids also. The Tony Stark, and the Tony Stark I noticed has. I mean, it's obviously it's Iron Man, but it has. Robert Downey Jr.'s specific mug on it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's very, it's very specific. There he is. So, what's your thing? What are you walking out with? What are you? Going this with? is what I walk out with: t-shirts. I went Wednesday uh, night. Like I bought like eight t-shirts. Oh, wow, cool. And then uh, I've been wearing a few of them on the show, and I'm gonna bring back, and then have to like find a place to put them. I already oh, have amazing. way too many. So, here's my question for you. Yeah. You, you were telling us in the uh, little lull before we started here that you, you're a Comic Con veteran. You've, you've been coming to this for a while. Yeah. How did you end up in this chair doing this? I mean, in, like. You went, you're now you're in the catbird seat. You run the show. How Absolutely, did that yeah. I get, it's, I'm lucky enough to get to get to have you guys come here and talk to me. That's uh, a, let's that, see. By the way, that was the, the lamest trying to tie us in. I mean, I don't please. Look, so, Anna, so how did I come from my days of camping out to? Well, I didn't camp out, but getting in the line yeah. to sit in the hall for hours and hours. Uh, played a lot of video games, and I can write pretty well. So they, I got I weasel my way in a game spot through unpaid internships and stuff like that. That's awesome. And got nice. there, and now I just uh, talk about video games and. Play games for a so we had to sleep our way to the top, but you, you literally, didn't literally, we literally took a few naps. No, literally, we took naps. Yeah. We, that's a proper rest. I mean, you got to <laughs> yeah. face the day. It's hard. Oh yeah, this isn't all surgery. <laughs> no, mostly. But so no, you you do a lot of coverage for the games and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we've got uh, you know, but Comic Con is is great too because it's more. It's a broader scope. You know, we have right. a very game-focused event, but Comic-Con casts the net much wider. Yeah, that's why we're here. We're, yeah. not, we're not the game guys. You guys are, yeah, we're casting the net wider. Yeah. We pull you, you guys in as well. Uh, but movies, TV, all the comic artists, they get to find art like this. That's you know, it's it's that breadth of creativity that just makes Comic-Con special. Which I think is why it's getting so big. Yeah, it's huge. So you guys have been to a couple now. Mm -hmm. and, and so the cosplayers game has, has been upped. And uh, you guys are hoping to up your game next year? Well, I think, uh, Bobby, you've been here uh, way before. Yeah, I was here ago. when it was smaller, and then I took five years off and then came back and, you know, blew my mind. And, what, oh yeah, my I, goodness, it's taken know. over this whole yeah. and district. Li literally, now we're out in the ocean. Like, we're on the boats. Yeah. Like, we were, we were a, a party in a boat last night. Yeah. I do feel like um, if, you're, if you're not in San Diego, if you've never been here, if you're just watching it online and on TV, I don't think you realize the scope of this because it is, it is enormous. Yeah. It is just. Yeah. It is. I mean, my waiter was dressed like Evil Ryu at breakfast. Street Fighter <laughs> character. Like, I got bad news for you. That wasn't a waiter. He just, <laughs> that oatmeal did taste a little funny. I'm, I'm doing okay, but. It was, yeah, no, yeah, it's amazing. just amazing how huge it's become because yeah. it really it casts a wide net. We're not looking at just niche genre fans anymore. Mm -hmm. If you love TV, if you like TV, movies, comics, novels, anything, it covers so much art. Mm hmm. Even art. I mean, just standard, you know, paintings and drawings. Yeah, and, yeah we were taking a look art. at some of that earlier. Steampunk. This kid was wearing a muzzle earlier today. You know, really? Or yesterday. You know, in a the tiny hat. The steampunk genre, you know. Oh, yeah. So I had a little hat, top hat. Yeah, you got the... Wearing the, a muzzle. You could definitely pull off a steampunk look. You get, get your little, uh, yeah. your valves and your the gold hung I got a new for your valve. He pulled it off. <laughs> a monocle. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so it's, All right. like, it's like that. It's cool. Very cool, yeah, guys. Yeah, man. Well, Rich and Rob, you guys have been doing some great work for us here at GameSpot. and congratulations. Congratulations on Sidekicks, Thank showing you. it off here at yeah. the show. Well, you, yeah. can, you can check it out where? Yeah, the sidekickproject.com. The, side the, side the sidekick project.com. The sidekick project.com. Do you want to say it once? <laughs> nope. All right, gents. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much for coming up on stage. You guys can check out more of this duo on GameSpot.com and stay with us for continuing coverage of San Diego Comic Con and uh, hopefully not the broken bodies of Rich and Rob as they fight their way off the stage. We'll be back. <laughs>